good, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Equity Chris. And it's your boy, Young Equity Devin. Let's get it. All right. Today, we have a special episode for you guys. We're going to be talking about some stocks that you should invest in before the White House passes its $2 trillion infrastructure bill. So, some things you need to know. The U.S. government, the White House, Joseph Biden, plans to pass a $2 trillion infrastructure bill to just make the U.S. better and stimulate job growth. In there, they're going to, you know, new highways. They're going to they have something in there for new schools, for EV chargers, just all kinds of things that they plan to impl implement with this infrastructure plan. And they plan to pay for it by taxing corporations. So we'll save that part for another video. But we'll, we'll talk about some companies to get involved with before this bill gets passed. And the first one is Steel Dynamics, ticker symbol STLD. So with Steel Dynamics, their business model is pretty simple. They produce steel in the United States. And as you may have known or may have not known, during the illness, there's been a shortage of steel. So the price of steel has gone up because of the scarcity. But once production picks back up, and, you know, there's less social distancing because people have gotten their shots. They can ramp up steel production and they've actually beat earnings pretty handily by 18 percent last quarter. So this is a pretty solid company. And right now it's around fifty one dollars. I believe it's a good price to get it at. And because they produce steel and steel will be involved in most things that the government does in building out the infrastructure. This one is a pretty safe bet. No, man, that's true because in my industry, you know, steel erection is a big deal when you're building bu buildings and also schools and uh, public transportation sites. So uh, a part of this infrastructure, they're going to uh, enhance the public transportation on the East Coast. And so steel is going to be a big deal. Uh, during the illness, um, the, the prices of steel actually went up. Big like, time. Like seriously. And so now they're trying to stabilize and um, decrease those those prices as we speak. But I think Steel Dynamics is a great play. Uh, you mentioned that they had great financials. Um, the price is at $50, so that means that it kind of held its ground during this market correction. Um, it's not a penny stock. It's a solid company. It's going to be here for a long time. Yeah, man. It's actually up 40% in the last three months. So oh, wow, stock really? is doing really well. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I might actually invest in that now. I mean, that sounds like a good play. So another play for you guys to invest in before the Joe Biden $2 trillion infrastructure plan is Trimble, ticker symbol TRMB. Um, so Trimble is a, a technology company. They're also a construction management company. They're also uh, investing in robotics. So a lot of the, the company's uh, products come from like survey equipment, um, drone equipment. They have uh, automation equipment. They have a hollow lens. So you could uh, put these goggles on so you can see the progress of uh, construction. Uh, so basically right now they're trying to automate construction. They're trying to automate um, the infrastructure world and the building world. So I believe that this is going to be a, a play to skyrocket. Also, it's in the S&P 500. So anything that's in the S&P 500 is a solid play. Um, like I said, you know, they automate construction management software services. Uh, we actually work with a company right now called eBuilder and eBuilder is a Trimble company. So there's a lot of moving parts with Trimble in this uh, infrastructure bill. So I do believe that Trimble will benefit from this bill uh, as be because they are in public transportation and infrastructure. Man, that makes a whole lot of sense. So it sounds like a great company to invest in. But I do have a question. Well, if you're talking about all that Trimble does, if the point of the infrastructure bill was to create jobs, you know, doesn't it seem counterproductive that a company like Trimble will come and be a part of this plan when they're coming up with ways to decrease the amount of jobs? Well, that's a good question. But, you know, people still have to operate those machines, right? Yes. And Trimble also has to have more people develop machines to enhance the uh, productivity of that infrastructure bill, right? They also do construction management services, so they actually put boots on the ground for people to manage those services as well. So you could have uh, somebody manage the product as it is being progressed. Okay, so that makes sense. So you're saying that all the jobs in the infrastructure bill aren't necessarily going to be boots on the ground, that there's going to be some jobs created for software engineers and things like that. Correct. 
Wow. Okay. Well, that's a lot to take in. I mean, because when we think of the infrastructure bill, we think about jobs created, but I think we should do, you know, the due diligence and figure out what jobs will be created. Yeah, I definitely understand that. I mean, think about it like this, right? Yes. You got the guys that work, yes. right? You got the guys that build, you got the guys that manage the guys that build, yeah. right? And you have the guys that manage the software that the guys that created the software yes. have, have built, right? And you have everybody above them. So I feel like with $2 trillion, I mean, you can't help but to build uh, the, the, the economy in that area and build more jobs. Wow, that makes sense, man. You're dropping some knowledge here, man. That's some <laughs> real world, real life experience. I mean, where do I sign Trim- up? How do I learn how to? <laughs> Trimble.com? Get- Trimble? <laughs> yeah, Trimble.com. I don't have the education. Because <laughs> remember, I'm not a financial advisor, and I'm not an expert. Thank you guys for checking into our video about what stocks to invest in before this infrastructure plan gets approved. It's your boy, Young Equity Chris. And it's your boy, Young Equity Devin. Let's get it. Let's go.